hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 16 beta 4 battery life and performance so a few days back i made a video on how can you install ios 16 beta 4 and what are the new features that comes with ios 16 beta 4 as you can see from the screenshot so a few days back when i installed it it came in about 1.53 gb and on my iphone 12 it came in about 1.65 gb so in this video we're going to take a look at how is the performance on iphone 10r and iphone 12 with ios 16 beta 4 especially i have used you know my iphone 12 to test out the battery performance and the performance in general so in this video let's talk about this ios 16 beta 4 how does it perform on ios 16 and since i have both the devices one is iphone 10r and one is iphone 12 it'll get a better idea how the same software runs on different iphone as well so without further ado let's get started with the video but before that if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so as you can see this is an iphone 12 and i have been using this iphone 12 for a long time and it's been like a month that i have been using ios 16 on this iphone 12 and this iphone 10r so let's talk about now the battery life so before the battery life let me show you that the, i'm running this on ios 16 so as you can see this is ios 16 beta 4 build number now if i go to the battery life let me click on the battery and click on the battery health as you can see on my iphone 12 the battery health is 89 percent so once i update it from ios 16 beta 3 to beta 4 on this iphone 12 the battery health has degraded by one percent and now let's have a look at the battery graph itself so before i talk about the battery health and everything let's talk about the history of this iphone 12 so i have been using this iphone 12 for now one year almost and since last nine months i used this device on ios 15 on stable release of ios and you know in last few weeks i have tested ios 16 so the battery health was not exceptional i would say on this iphone 12 so now let's uh, have a look at this battery graph and battery life and how is it overall performing with ios 16 beta 4 so as you can see from the graph itself for last 24 hours the average screen on time is 9 hour 57 minutes and the screen off time is 34 minutes and if i talk about last 10 days as you can see the average screen on time and the screen off time so uh, don't get me wrong the screen on and screen off time here itself since it's a beta software it doesn't give you the current representation so don't think that it would last you for 13 hours 7 minutes because this iphone has been charged multiple times within a day itself yes so that's true this iphone has been charged you know twice at least uh, within a day to maintain the battery health to maintain the you know normal functionality which people would do with an iphone uh, the regular calls and stuff so i would say with ios 16 beta 4 although the battery life is little better than ios 16 beta 3 but it's it's nothing no way comparable to ios 15.6 or 15.5 whatever we are using i mean it's not comparable at all to the stable release of ios now let's have a look at the you know application which consume the most of the battery life as you can see whatsapp being on the top and then youtube coming on the second and the social media apps then the important mail application as you can see from the list of application i don't play games on my iphone so there are no games that consumes my battery life but still if you are planning to install ios 16 i would say at least don't install ios 16 uh, beta softwares you can go for actually ios 16 public beta that is still better but this is a developer's beta which i actually don't recommend installing on your primary iphone if you have only one but if you have a secondary iphone like i have then of course for the features for the new security things you can actually try out ios 16 beta 4. so in short guys the battery life is not actually good with ios 16 beta updates at, at least so far with this iphone i am not sort of happy with the battery life although the performance is okay the performance is good with iphone 12 but also i've used uh, this iphone 10r 
and it's running on iOS 16 beta 4 as well. I sometimes find minor hiccups and you know lag here and there on the UI itself like one out of 10 time maybe but I don't see that with my iPhone 12. So this iPhone 12 in terms of performance it is good. So if I could show you the Geekbench just before recording this video I ran the Geekbench score. So that single core score came in about 1581 and the multi core score came in about 3910 that if you want that would sort of give you the representation of how the performance is although i don't you know find this correct representation of the performance because performance doesn't have to do with the benchmarking scores so if you ask me about the performance the app crashes which we had with ios 16 beta 1 and beta 2 so the app crashes have been reduced now with every application i don't uh, you know see the app crashes the app opens up really good and the normal day-to-day -day stuff happens fine but still i would say ios 16 beta 4 somehow it is not up to the mark at least with my testing results so if i talk about the performance performance is good it is iphone 12 right so performance will be better so compared to iphone 10 r but you know in terms of battery life i am like not happy i'm not disappointed but i'm also not happy and if you ask me whether in terms of battery life how it is doing i would rate it around 6 out of 10 maybe with iPhone 10R and with iPhone 12 with both of these iPhones. So that's some setup for this video. I hope you got an idea about how these iPhones are performing with iOS 16 beta 4. I showed you the Geekbench 5 as well and I also gave you the battery health and the battery graph as well for last 24 hours and last 10 days. So in short if I have to share I would say I charge my iPhone twice in, uh, in a day in order to you know uh, get my day going with this iphone 12 so the battery life is not at all uh, you know up to the mark i would say so then again i wanted to give you an idea about the battery life and in general performance how is it going with ios 16 beta 4 on my iphone 12 and i am running ios 16 beta 4 on both of this iphone 10r and iphone 12 let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below uh, but then again if you want my recommendation I don't recommend installing you know iOS 16 beta softwares at least I if you want if you want to try out the iOS 16 new features and the security updates and all the school lock screen stuff then probably you have to go for iOS 16 public beta softwares I haven't tried that myself but I'm hoping that it would be sort of better than iOS 16 developers beta at least so the developers beta is something that you get the updates fast you get the features fast but in terms of battery life and security thing you know in terms of battery life and in terms of performance it is not that great if you compare with the public beta or the stable release of ios so then again i hope you enjoyed the video and also you got an idea about the battery life and performance of you know ios 16 beta 4 if you are planning to update to ios 16 or planning to install ios 16 public beta profile or ios 16 developers beta profile let me know that in the comment section below and i will see you on my next video Bye-bye.